It is very cold today. It's sunny, but it's bitterly cold. How are you doing, Kelly? How are you doing? Are you chilly? So it's day 15 of my road trip across the US in my self-converted vintage electric camper van. And very late last night, we arrived in this RV park near a small town called Florence in Indiana. We drove from Nashville in Tennessee through Kentucky. I think we're gonna cross back into Kentucky and into Ohio today. And we're making great progress. Yesterday, we managed to drive 224 miles, totaling 2,444 miles of the 3,000 mile road trip. Now, as we're getting closer and closer, I've realized because we've been going slightly off route, it's all added up and there's a likelihood that by the time we get to New York, it's gonna be quite a bit more over 3,000 miles, but it's a close enough target to kind of calculate how far we have left. Last night was the coldest night yet. We got to minus one degrees Celsius. That is 30 degrees Fahrenheit. So we managed to get the heaters going. We had an electric blanket as well. And I think we managed to stay warm just about, but it is very, very cold today. I'm sure it's even colder with the wind chill because it's very windy. We're about to hit the road again. I've been editing a bit this morning and we're gonna try and do another long day of driving. Well, that's really annoying. I spent the morning finishing off my vlog and unfortunately my internet's run out or something. Something weird's going on with my internet so I can't upload and I just tried the Wi-Fi here and uh, it's really bad. <laughs> so the vlog is delayed another day. It's definitely uh, one of the most challenging parts of this trip, surprisingly. As I cross over this bridge back into Kentucky, there's a quite steep uphill section to get back to the highway, which is annoying but thankfully we've got a full charge, so it's not worrying, but it definitely does zap the battery. I roused it up that hill, because the van has got pretty amazing power. Went up a steep hill, like 60 miles an hour. I don't think I'll regret it, because we've got plenty of charge to get to the next charger. The wind today is wild though. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm just getting blown all over the place. Cincinnati, here we come. I have not been to Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Hey Siri, are there wolves in Kentucky? I thought I just saw a wolf that had been hit by a car on the side of the road, but according to Siri, wolves are very rare in Kentucky. I just cannot get used to these temperatures. It's, it's so cold. Got my sock warmers on though, so that's helpful. I can't find my neck scarf, so I've just thrown my hoodie on for the moment. We are three minutes away from a charger, so I'm hoping that there's somewhere to eat nearby. We've gone through Cincinnati. We're the other side now in, a, I guess, a little suburb. I've got to admit, because I knew that we had plenty of battery, I've been driving a little bit faster. As we're getting closer and closer, I'm getting a little bit more impatient. I'm getting a little bit more eager to get to New York. And, uh, and also, when we stop, it just warms up a little bit as well. So I'm like trying to get out of the cold. I think today might be the day that I switch to my Arctic clothing. I've got like ski salopettes and a big Arctic jacket that I think for tonight's drive I'm gonna wear. It's gonna be a big difference. Oh, Chipotle. Oh, that's fantastic news. It's literally Chipotle right there. Ooh, maybe I maybe I get to break my now quickly. I've got my burrito. Let's head to the charger. I got some for you as well, Kelly. You can have some. Oh, yeah, this is so funny. I'm at like a Mercedes-Benz dealership and uh, there's a charger point here, but they're probably like only for customers or for Mercedes-Benz vehicles or something. I don't know. Let's see. Plug in. I don't know how long they're gonna let me stay here, but we're charging. I'm sitting in the back of the van. It does say on the charging app that this is for customers. So 
I probably will get kicked out soon. I also think it probably shuts off when they close the store. I have, however, found an alternative charger seven miles away, which is 24 hours and faster. So I'm gonna eat my burrito and then probably head there. Oh, Callie. <gasps> She made my burrito so ridiculously big. Look at this, it's the size of my head. You can have my leftovers, Kelly, okay? I didn't put anything spicy in there just for you. It's time to get my Arctic clothing. Oh yeah. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, Kelly, I am warm now. I am much warmer. What are you doing? I'd like to charge up some more battery, so I'm basically going to, I think I'm going to stay here till I get kicked out, which will probably be in 20 minutes. And whilst I'm waiting, I'm going to make a coffee because it's getting cold. Even with this big jacket on, I'm getting cold. I don't know how I'm going to cope when I get to New York and it's like minus nine. It's not okay. Kelly is loving the electric blanket. I've got to be honest. This trip has become way more kind of like survival mode than I had first imagined it would be. I knew it was gonna to be tough, but you know, there was all these other kind of challenges I wanted to set myself. And honestly, it's been enough of a challenge just trying to do this. I'm gonna call this RV park and just see, see what's going on. Something funny about this trip, and I think this is probably different to how a lot of people travel, is everything I've been doing has been last minute. Like if I'm staying somewhere, I'll call them at like 5 p I mean, it's, it's almost 6 p.m. the day I'm staying, which probably isn't the best. Hi, thanks for calling the Sunbury KOA. We're a seasonal park and we'll reopen on April 27th, 2023. Oh dear, they're closed. Thank you for calling Cross Creek, this is Kathy. Merry Christmas. Hello, Merry Christmas. Um, I was wondering whether you had any availability for me to stop um, tonight just for one night uh, and get a 50 amp hookup. I'm pretty sure we do. I also might be coming in pretty late, so I didn't know what your policy was about kind of arriving late and kind of uh, paying in the oh, morning. That, or that's, that's fine. Uh, we have an online check-in form. Oh, that was lovely. I've got my RV park booked for tonight. And uh, she said, when I arrive, They've got some cookies and hot cocoa I could come and get if I wanted. I don't have to get in super late though because, because we didn't do a massive drive earlier, the battery, honestly, I could probably make it if I drove now. No one's asked me to move yet and it looks like they've like shut up the, I think I might get away with staying here and just fully charging. I just got a message on my phone saying, oh, your car's not really drawing any electricity. It's probably fully charged. I checked and it's not. And then I noticed my LED lights were flashing underneath the car, which normally is a bad sign that the 12 volt battery's done something weird. And I've got a feeling that my 12 volt battery's died. So let me figure out, Let's see if I can see what's going on. Okay, something, something's up, something weird is happening. Oh dear, I think the 12 volt battery might be dead. This is not what I needed. This is not what I needed. Hopefully, I've got enough juice in this battery pack to, to juice me up. But I have been meaning to recharge this. Hmm. Not, I'm not incredibly happy with the fact that the charger's stopped working again. I wonder whether I've broken it trying to run, trying to run the inverter. I need to drive to Home Depot anyway to get some bits. So let's head there and see what, see what we can do. I wonder whether even just having that inverter hooked up to the battery is like kind of damaging it. I think what I might need to do when I get to Home Depot is at least unplug the inverter from the battery. Okay. Well, one good piece of news is that the charge was free. I'm gonna do a better assessment of what's going on when we get to Home Depot. That's my plan. Okay, we have a situation. Although I've got a full battery, and I think this is what happened to me on the, I can't remember what night it was, but my 12 volt battery has died. So we have a major problem. 
the van stopped working, the 12 volt battery's dead, and my backup battery charger is also dead. Oh man, this is bad, this is bad. This is my plan, okay? What I'm thinking is, Kelly, you have to wait in here. Lots of bad things have happened. What I'm thinking is, I'll get my big battery, portable battery pack and try and boost the car battery pack charger. So let's take that. Uh, I'm gonna switch to my low light lens. Okay, right, I've come up with a new plan because nothing I'm doing seems to be working and I'm kind of freaking out. I only need to drive like a mile, so what I might do is get the other battery that I thought was dead, switch it back over. What I'm hoping is that will at least last me until we get to Home Depot and then I'm in a safer place to try and fix things. Oh no, I just, straight up pulled the handle off my door. How did I do that? Let's see if this will do something. Oh, this is wild. This is wild. Right. I think I figured it out. The battery terminal was really loose and I think it just wasn't clamped on and wasn't charging. It must have rattled loose recently. Bloody hell. I got a good feeling about this. I got a good feeling about this. Oh man, okay. Let's get the hell out of here. The funny thing is, every time my 12 volt battery restarts, it kicks on the LEDs underneath the van. So they just feel like flashing on and off, drawing more attention. I think I can get out of here now. Hopefully, hoping. Okay, I've managed to rig up a little something, something. Let's see if we can make this work. Okay, come on, baby. Does that work? Yes, baby. Right, we have to get to Home Depot before we run out of power. Before we run out of power. This is wild. This is freaking wild. I'm not even turning my headlights on because uh, I don't want to run the 12 volt battery down. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I've lost it again. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, this should work. Okay. Bloody hell, so as soon as I turn the light on. Wow, man. Wow, at least we're kind of uh, off the main road now. Wow. So what I was doing was charging my 12 volt battery off the battery booster, which has run out of charge, whilst trying to simultaneously charge that from the lithium uh, battery bank. Oh my goodness, I'm half a mile away. I kind of just want to sit down somewhere safe and work on this. And this isn't really a safe spot. I'm like right on the road again. Oh. Man, I haven't had this much drama on the trip since like day four or something. Also, I've dressed up like I'm in the Arctic and then I've been running around and I'm literally sweating out now. I can hear something going crazy again. So that's plugged in. That's plugged in and that is... That's not liking it. That is not liking it. Oh cool, that's charging with 12 volts. That's clever, so that's, that's charging. It's charging this. This is then charging the 12 volt battery, which is giving me enough juice to run. 
Oh, well, this is, uh, this has definitely turned into a very eventful evening. I was so excited because I was saying to Raya, oh, I could leave at seven. I could be there by 10. And honestly, this all comes back to my desperate need to be able to see the voltage on my 12 volt battery. Because if I had had that little readout on my cigarette lighter, I'd have been able to see that it wasn't charging and I would have avoided all of this. So I absolutely have to make that a priority to be able to kind of uh, monitor my 12 volt battery voltage. I'm gonna give it 10 minutes to charge up a little bit and then I'm gonna head to Home Depot, see what I can do. <sighs> so dramatic. Oh no, oh no, come on. Oh yeah, I think I might have made it. Very cheeky, haven't got my headlights on. Oh! Oh no. Okay, I just, just ran out. No, this is bad. Okay. This is pretty bad. Wow, this is wild, man. I can see it, I can see Home Depot up there. This is bad, I'm actually kind of broken down on the road now. So bad. I charged up for a couple of minutes just to give me enough to get into the Home Depot parking lot. From this point, not really sure what to do, but I think we made it. Wow, that was quite a fiasco. At least we can sit and figure this out properly now. Okay, we're safe. We're not gonna get hit by traffic. Right, great news. Without the pressure of being on the side of the road and kind of freaking out and loud cars going past, I managed to methodically go through all of the things that could be wrong. I checked all the fuses. I checked all of the fittings and I did some tests of continuity between different cables and voltage running. And the thing that I thought had broken was the DC to DC converter that takes the 170 volts and converts it to 12 volts. I think when I was looking at it yesterday, maybe I jiggled it because the only thing I can figure out is that that connector had kind of dislodged. And since yesterday, it hasn't been charging the 12 volt battery. So I've just reconnected it, turned it on, and now it's charging the battery again. So I'm gonna go in, find some different bits in uh, Home Depot, and then, I don't know, maybe in like 45 minutes, see if when I disconnect it, the battery's charged up enough. This is gonna be the first night drive. I might actually be fully warm the whole time. I'm gonna put my sock warmers back on. It's saying 108 miles. It's not too bad. I think we've got that. I definitely feel more uh, confident than before we arrived here. It's got to hope that none of the wiring kind of gets knocked loose. Have a little energy drink. I think when I get into these situations where like everything's going wrong, I find it fairly easy to like zoom out and just logically start analyzing, you know, what the problem could be. I think if like, the batteries exploded, I'd be panicking more and sad, you know, accepting that it's over. But when it's just little things going wrong, I feel like there's normally a easy fix and it's kind of logical. Minus one. This is the coldest temperature I've driven in, but thankfully, Arctic jacket, sock warmers, three layers on the bottom, four layers on the top, scarf, headband, gloves. I'm actually feeling pretty, pretty warm and cozy. Callie's under three blankets, so I think she's good as well. One concern is we've been going an hour and it's just been a gradual, not too intense, but gradual uphill. And I don't think we're gonna make it on this charge, so I. I might need to find a charger in Columbus before we head further to the RV park just north of Columbus. So 
11 p.m. I'm 24 miles away. I think I'm gonna make it. It's, I'm not 100% certain. I don't think I need to stop and charge. I think because of how cold it is and the fact that I don't have heating unless we're parked up with a power supply, it's just not worth it. If I go slow, I've been going about 40. If I keep going about 40 and just, just trundle along, I think, I'll, I think I'll make it. I'm guessing you're watching from the comfort of a warm place, but I just need to express to you, that's not where I am right now. If I do this again, I think during the summer would be a wiser move. We're 11 miles away. It's gonna be really, really close. I think I'm just gonna to have to go super slow. I'm hoping as I'm coming off the highway, we're going onto different roads, I'll be able to go even slower. If I can just trundle along at 30, it might be okay. Oh guys, I'm gonna to need to find the I'm gonna need to find a charger. This, this ain't gonna work. Still got nine miles left. A little stretches of uphill. Gonna do me over. Oh, battery? What the heck? Whoa. Shit. If I can just get onto this slow road, 7.7 .7 miles. Oh man, we are really cutting it fine. The camera batteries are dying too. We've got like a couple of a cent left on the camera batteries because. It's just so cold and batteries just die in the cold. That's what we're finding out. I'm glad I'm on these small roads though. It says we're four miles away. So close to running out, this is bad. I'm just trying to crawl along at like 30. If we make it, it's gonna be a miracle. I also think it looks like it's starting to snow. Yeah, Kelly, get, get under there. Kelly, it's gonna to be too cold. 3.8 miles. We're at like 1% battery, we're basically zero. We're 2.6 miles away. <laughs> so many cars. It's delayed behind me. 2.5 miles. Come on, man. Come on. We need a Christmas miracle. I think this is the trick. I'm going to go like 25, maybe drop to 20 if I need to. Okay. 2.1 miles. One mile to go. Literally squeezing every last little tiny bit out of the battery. I can't do this again. This has to be the last kind of dramatic battery run out I have with this trip it's got to be 0.9 miles 0.7 getting dangerously close camera battery is about to die i can see the rv park entrance 0.2 miles literally oh my gosh i think i made it you made it, I made it. oh my goodness we freaking made it Right, it is 2.13 in the morning. I cannot believe I got so close to running out. Oh my gosh, but we made it. We had another good day of mileage. We did 176 miles. I'm just north of Columbus, Ohio. In total, we've done 2,620 miles of the 3,000 miles. We're so close and we've got a few more days to complete the mission. I think we're going to. If you've been enjoying the series and want to see if I make it, remember to subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the morning. Peace.